Um, the first jump was right near the gate, and whenever there's a first jump near the gate, you want to keep their attention. Their next jump was a rollback to a taller vertical heading straight towards the gate. Um, I gave her a nice space and she jumped it beautifully and then thinking of time I kind of ran over to the triple bar, cleared that jump and then I was thinking the seven afterwards to that big tall FBI oxer with the Liverpool and I let her land and turned as tight as I could back. That whole six to one felt great. She jumped it incredible. I kind of just sat on top and stayed out of her way. She's got that big stride so I knew I could kind of just sit and support and let her do her thing. I made my way over and jumped it nice. I think I slowed up in the turn enough to get her back on her haunch after kind of running over and she jumped that beautifully. Seven, like I said, big stride. Got quite easy for her so I could jump in slow and then give her just a little nice push up. The last line I knew was easy and eight and my trainer told me, he was like, don't go wide and fast because a tall vertical like that you don't want to be flat at. Stay in and shorten her up and get her back on her haunch and I think I actually did what he said and was able to get her back on her hind end so she could jump that last jump clear and then I ran through the timers to make sure I didn't have a time fall.